other thing people forget that mm. even when you are consuming actual probiotics itself mm. people forget that uh, your stomach kills 99.9% of them ha uh, yeah, stomach acid is like acid is so very strong very strong Correct. right we are hoping that even for billion bacteria you only you need only need 100000 to survive correct then they will replicate correct and here's the interesting thing even the ones that replicate and reach your gut the existing gut bacteria will also not allow new bacteria that easily they will also compete absolutely so that is why benefits of eating uh-huh. probiotics is you have to eat daily ha uh-huh. you have to keep replenishing that, that is how you eventually build a diversity correct you eating one new one thing once probiotic is not going to help at yes, all because then absolutely. bacteria will die absolutely you need to keep uh, giving them sending reinforcements right so that you have to pass through you have to pass through your digestive system you have to pass through the stomach acid then you also you have to keep doing that right so you know the the bacteria in your large intestine is like a mafia over there yeah absolutely it's a pharmacological drug mafia yes where whatever let's say you have grown your gut bacteria with pizza yes that gut bacteria will make sure that exactly. nothing else will come in exactly <laughs> so it takes a lot of effort to so, so, so a, research is 3 months exactly ah, right yeah 3 months and i not and, and and therefore so people think that they can eat terrible food and ah. then i'm eating yogurt kefir or something like no that's not enough right because one you've got to feed your good gut bacteria correct. so you got to eat a ton of diverse plants uh, right correct uh, as many much diversity as possible correct. Right? people correct. if you're only eating uh, potato and uh, rice <laughs> that is not very yeah you, you need greens you need uh, things that are resistant starch right uh-huh. uh, and, and see also we think say for a lot of uh, indians we um uh, the full dal the whole dal uh. Uh, many people can't digest uh, uh. right but uh, way way more fiber and uh, yes. right etc so again you mix and match right so uh. you can't be, you may not be able to eat brown rice uh, like every day Correct. then there are other risks of brown rice also absorbing more arsenic from the right. so you know, people sometimes forget that food is not about this is the right way Correct. you got to do a ton of variety variety things mm. and de risk yourself that out of the 100 things you do <laughs> two things are going to not be great right right right, right so right. people forget you know so mediterranean diet a uh, classic example they say oh i can eat yes. all the butter i want because french and italians are eating so much saturated fat I said boss they are eating saturated fat but you know the number of greens and fresh food they eat and the fermented food they Correct. eat they their constitution is such that they have so much good uh, gut bacteria that the saturated fat is not going to harm it correct <laughs> but you are only eating uh, parotta salna and biryani, uh, biryani and uh, <laughs> that you are not you're not exactly you know the same here, uh, exactly, yes. the same thing yeah. so it's about that right so therefore if you are eating so if you have a generally healthy diet during the week and then weekend you're going and eating uh, parotta this thing that mm. then you're fine your body can take it right i mean is it people sometimes forget that uh, either they want to do a puritanical i will never eat i said that's never going to happen boss right if your office guy party invites you and say no 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 i will not eat my dal i will not uh, eat. that's never go- it's not practical then you will then you will add to stress then people will not like you you will not grow you will add stress and that stress is going to harm your gut bacteria <laughs> so that's a yes. follow up answer to that is you know i say my channel not eat anything after 7 pm yeah some people take it very religiously which is good that's right but to a point is. that they go to a restaurant yes. and everybody is eating around they are saying that i am following dr pal <laughs> <laughs> yes correct you know those dangers of uh, followers you know that's like how uh, there will be some of my followers who will go leave uh go to some random person saying something about ayurveda and say ashok said this this is wrong i said boss relax that guy is just doing enjoying his life posting something right why are you guys going and bring you endlessly cc masala la please comment on this no i am not in the business of you know judging what other people <laughs> eat or what they do right yeah so so, so what i say is uh, you know that puts, if you are comfortable with that yeah. that's a different story yes but let's say you are accessing a lot of will power to do that yeah. then it's a problem so in that case you eat at 8:30 just yeah. compensate for the next day by eating a little it's bit okay. late yeah. uh, these uh, are not like hard bone hard bone yeah. Yeah, yeah so coming back to kombucha yes, yes kombucha i want you to say, have you have do you have kombucha i do have kombucha, oh, kombucha. Um, right and there there are it's now become pretty popular now and there are many local yeah uh-huh. many local companies selling the one with the culture as well i see so there you can also get the the processed ones where that is not there so it's not fermenting any further uh-huh. um uh, but they end up adding a lot more sugar i see because and also um, so when you buy kombucha you'd look at the bottle at the bottom, bottom there will be like that that scoby is there scoby is there ah uh, 